Welcome to another record box tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to align your beat grid on any song, really. So basically, I downloaded a bunch of like hip hop hybrid songs, um, and all of them have not been analyzed yet. So you can tell that they're not analyzed yet because there's no preview of it, there's no artwork, there's no title, no BPM. So I have my file name right here, and you can right click this to change what you want to see so if you don't see the file name and you can click on that as well so I'm in my title and when I'm in my title the first songs that come up are blank from one through the numbers and then in alphabetical order ABC and then you can hit this to change the order so the top would be Z instead of A in the numbers so now I have my track in and right here you can see that I have a red that my first red bar which are these red triangles on the grid is right here at the beginning of it so when I hit play and you can read the track right here and you can tell that the kicks in the in the claps are on the grid which they won't, it won't always be on grid like that. But on this song, I can see there's a four, eight, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's an eight bar intro with a one bar like riser. So you gotta watch out for the intros as well. Um, they might have a one bar intro just for uh, a swoop for it to make it easier for DJs to transition into. Like, you know, and then really that's the start of the song. They just added that little intro part to the beginning. And then it hits right here on the bass. So this one is correct. I'm gonna drag that into my tracks to my playlist. All right, so now let me just pick a random one. Hit play. So now you see that the red line does not start at the beginning of the song, and when I go through it. Looks like it's lined up. It's all it's almost perfectly lined up already. So this one is that much off. I can see right here that it could that this kick starts right here and not where the the grid's at. It starts right here at the beginning of the first transient on that kick is the highest or not the highest, but the first like big wave, big transient. So what I do right here is to edit your beat grid button right here under your display pad your display for all your options all the software what the software does um, so you go into your grid edit and right here is the correct BPM so this track is actually 175 and Rekordbox analyzes it the best it can but usually it doesn't get exactly right every single time like I would say 80% of everything that it analyzes is that it's off by literally 0 0.03 for example like this one so when I find my track in my list as well so it's easy E let me go down to the E's easy E so cruising says 175 right there under my BPM list so you can look at these two numbers to match your BPM that's the correct one um, so now I'm gonna change my BPM to 175 Oops. 175 why is it doing that? my num 75 so now the, the BPM is correct but the grid is still off so what I do is I go all the way to the beginning of the track and this button right here is the first beat of the current position so it's really the red bar it's the very first grid mark so I click that so I can set the red bar at the very beginning you can click it wherever you want to set the red bar to go to the very beginning of the track just scroll it scroll your cursor all the way to the beginning like this and click this red bar and it should line up perfectly see how on the point that is I'm looking randomly I'm looking at this random kick in the middle of the song when I adjust it at the beginning of it with the correct BPM and it's on exact point I'm gonna drag this into my playlist I'm gonna pick another one 
Hit play so it can analyze it, or it's already analyzing it, but I'm gonna hit play. And it's not lined up correctly. It's off by that much. So, right here, this is 76.08.08. .08. So I'm just gonna erase that way, .08. And then go all the way to the beginning of the track and hit this start. First current position. And like that bar is exactly on that kick. Let me go back to where we were at in the song earlier, just now. And boom, it's like right there at it. So. It looks like I want the first. The first bar of like the red line, the red bar, I want that to be the beginning of my of my bar count. So I can put it right here on the kick. And hit this red button. Hit the red bar and align it exactly on that kick. And I can go all the way to the another part of the track and see if it lines up. What am I doing? So that one's on point. I like to keep my um, BPM range at full time instead of half time. So you can hit this double the BPM value once you get it caught. Uh, add more grid lines. It's the exact same how it was on grid. Just full time. So I'll have more more options for hot cues and memory cues and, and everything. If you keep everything in full time, you won't have to worry about um, 75 and 150 or 80 and 160 or whatever you got going on because regular record box standalone like legit software like live CDJs and, and everything is different from the software on a computer that you can just randomly download because I can have an 80 and a 160 on here and they line up perfectly they'll be the exact same speed but live on a standalone one track will be at 80 and the other one will be at 160 and one will be going twice the speed like literally going twice the speed. It won't line up how it will on here, it's different. So I'm just gonna do one more for the end of this video. Um, like and subscribe for more. And you can keep watching if you like just to get another taste or more examples of how to align the beat grid. I'm just gonna keep recording for probably like two, two or three more songs. Right here, you can click these buttons to, to adjust the beat grids just a tiny bit. Um, now it's lined up. I mean, it's just that simple. Make sure your BPM is the same. And now I gotta adjust it again. Every time you change the BPM, the grid will change, so pay attention. You don't wanna keep redoing it over and over again. Once you get it down and pay attention, you will only have to do it one time. So another reason that I am pulling them out from my music um, list and, and 
correcting them and editing the beat grid in my music list instead of my playlist is because I just download I used to download a bunch of music and just steadily make playlists and then I have to go through each playlist and do this on each playlist and I would keep choosing new songs or the same songs and making new playlists and I would have to keep editing the beat grid over and over and over again these same songs so if you download the song and fix the beat grid use it to put it in playlists and everything then it would always be right it will never cause you any issues so this is another record box tutorial video thanks for watching like and subscribe for more